Okay, um, good evening. It's 6.52 p.m. 24th July. Um, as I mentioned in the previous uh, videos, I am actually going to go now to meet or rather to uh, see my friend's uh, opening of his uh, bridal store. Uh, if I need to let you know, his name is uh, Mick Long. I actually knew him as a photographer. Um, there's actually something a little bit interesting about this guy. This guy actually did a uh, contest on Facebook a year ago. What he did was uh, he just asked the fellow friends and participants of this contest to just upload his pictures, uh, to upload his or her pictures on uh, Facebook and let other people vote for whoever's the cutest or the prettiest or whatnot as well by simply liking the, you know they like the like button on the Facebook yeah he, he wants to utilize that so he did one which went pretty okay but then he did the second one which was a problem okay the problem was um, some participants they just want to win it's supposed to be a fun contest but they just so want to win so they decided to spam they decided to spam any everybody they know and friends or friends and whoever to basically like me you know like just click like button just click like me even though i do not know who the hell you are and you're freaking fat and ugly but you want me to like you just so they can win a stupid contest it's not stupid but there is no prizes or anything it's just for fun so that's when people start abusing uh, abusing the like button and slowly and eventually everybody started to hate this contest because of the abuse of the like so out of the blue there's this, just this few assholes that you know decided to twist the story and say oh you should not like Mike Long instead you should not like my friend instead because he's the one that created all this nonsense He's not a very good photographer, so that's why he's doing this contest, so screw him. You know, they're, they're saying all these bad things about a friend of mine, and I just don't find it very comfortable. And and eventually, he's, he's liking for Facebook drops significantly because they even created an anti-make-long fan page, like anti-friend of mine, like what the hell? So eventually, his reputation got a little bit down because people are just saying bad things about him even though it's not his fault it's, it's the fucking participants who made it bad for him so but I'm just glad now that you know despite the sex back despite everything he just laid low for a while everybody forgot about the contest and now he's now opening a bridal store and everybody's supporting him on that so it's just really nice to hear I mean it's, it's really nice to hear that despite all this despite all this negative and you know this town is such a small town he gets to open it up don't give a shit about what everybody else is thinking and now he gets to do what he does he loves to take photos and he loves to see couples who are so happy that he takes memories of their lives so I am inspired by him I am very inspired by him he gets to open his own store and I would like to follow suit as well maybe not in a bridal store because I don't know anything about weddings and all that but he's, he's an inspiration I would like to dedicate to him if this um, video comes in to your project so yeah I'm gonna see him in a little while more just not too far off Thank 
这一趟可能没有跑到八块，目前也是这样。你当时请了？会啊会啊，那他们会请了我的啥呀？是吧是吧。比如说他那个啥比较难，比较难学的嘛。因为你穿上来了，你要给他一些。Okay, um, I just got up from the opening of my friend's store. Unfortunately, I can't exactly record the show because <laughs> there's a lot of music. So as, as much frustration as I am having, I just can't show you the actual launch itself unless you don't mind the music. So which is, you and I know it's just about copyright issues. And I can't even interview him in person as well because it's just so much noise. It's just so much noise at the place. So I, I just gonna make out a little bit pieces and there. That's about it. So hopefully you can get some used to it. But in the meantime, um, yeah, I'm just it's it's now nine fifty five. So. I don't know why I'm not talking about anymore. I, I didn't drink this. There's no alcohol in it anymore. But I just don't know what to say. Really. I'm just going to record the last two hours of 24th July. And uh, yeah, uh, let me think. What am I going to say first? I'm not exactly very familiar. What am I supposed to say? Um, <laughs> uh, hang on. Yeah, let me think. I suppose what am I frustrated about the recording for pretty much today is the fact that not just well it's in fact it's just the fact that I can't record the whole show because of music and all that so don't mind me I'm I'm just slightly frustrated that I can't actually feature that part of the event which gets me to a point though if was it you Kevin that said. If, you have, if somebody has a wedding, you should record it. But I completely forgot to ask, what if the wedding has all the loud music that we're not supposed to bring? As what you say, there's no, there shouldn't be any kind of music involved. So maybe for the Western wedding, I can understand. But when it comes to the Chinese wedding, it's just all music, music, music. Yeah, I'm saying you know a lot of cheers and all that. But it still is going to be a lot of music all the time. So well, there's no weddings here. Okay, what the heck? Uh, but to be honest with you, I'm quite tired. I didn't have enough sleep, so. I think the next thing I need to do after this is. Well, how am I supposed to put it? I suppose I'm left to properly answer the questions that you seek. So, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be a little bit emotional about one of the questions that you want to, you want me to answer, especially about the fear. But uh, let me just get home first, um, so that I can set up the camera properly. And um, <laughs> I don't know. I think in truth, maybe I'm just frustrated because I came in on my own. Uh, I know a few friends there and there, but basically, I feel like I am I'm alone. In fact, so. Seems that somebody wants to tailgate me. I'm really sorry. I, I really don't know what I'm talking about. I really don't know. But hey, um, make sure you come to Kuching. I can definitely drive you around. 